In this video I'm going to compare two tripods, one that I bought maybe 20 years ago and one that I've bought very recently, in fact I bought two of them. The one I bought some 20 years ago is an Ultrapod 1. This was a very useful, very lightweight device and I'm going to show you it here. The whole construction of this very small tripod is unusual. It consists of two straight legs pop riveted onto a piece of angle bracket. Now these are all fabricated from plastic so it's extremely lightweight. The legs only have two positions that is folded away or completely deployed. When they're folded away the bracket shape could be used uh, to sit alongside a pole or post or a small tree branch etc and is clamped onto it by a quite a long piece of velcro which is attached to the angle bracket. To enable the user to position the camera there's not only a ball and socket joint but in fact there's a standoff which is articulated from the main angle bracket and the whole thing's tightened down by a knob with a threaded screw going through the two fish plates. Pedco themselves, who are the original manufacturers of the Ultrapod, uh, have revised the design of the Ultrapod 1 and made what they call Ultrapod Mini, and that has uh, different shaped leg ends. One of my regular suppliers of photographic and memory products is actually selling what looks to be one of these devices. Now the difference is that you can still buy the Ultrapod 1, and it's about £17 in the UK, this supplier was selling this alternative one, which looked very, very similar, for about £3.99. So I thought I must uh, I get a couple of these because I can always give one away and they're very useful for clamping things like uh, lights, flash guns, microphones, anything like that, to tripods and all sorts of things. Very, very useful piece of kit. So here's the box that I got from the supplier. It's clearly not a, a Pedco Ultrapod. It's not labelled as such, so uh, one can only assume it's some form of uh, clone or copy. So let's look at the differences here then. Well, first of all, between the old and the new, obviously, there are different leg shapes. The manufacturers of the new tripod have incorporated a more modern form of Velcro with hooks all the way down one side and the mat all the way up the other side, which is different from the original one, which only had hooks at the very end. The principal difference between these two, as far as I'm concerned, is the way that the ball and socket joint works. On the original device, the piece of metal that had the ball at one end and a camera attachment thread at the other was made out of aluminium, whereas on the new one it appears to be made of steel but with a very bright, what looks like a chrome plate coating, I've no idea exactly what it is. This is a real weakness in the new design, I believe, because you can tighten up the fish plates to tighten up the ball joint, and you'll find that in the new device, it takes an awful lot more force on the uh, knob at the side to clamp the ball solidly. The aluminium of the original design was slightly rougher and indeed I think the plastic was a slightly different grade and there's better friction and held the thing more securely. I accept the limitation of this comparison because of course it's not comparing the new genuine Pedco Ultrapod Mini with this third party design but I think it's uh, useful to see what a difference the different material especially on the ball and socket joint makes to the operation of this device.